there, I am Vritti Krishna. This time, I am going to take you on a tour around Jismos. Do you know what is Jismos? Jismos is an interactive science and math online simulation that involves inquiry, understanding, problem solving, and critical thinking. There are over 400 math and science Jismos that gives everyone something to grab, measure, and compare. So how to log in? Type the URL https colon slash slash www.explorelearning.com If you are using this was for the first time, you have to follow two steps. You need to enroll to a class by typing the class code which you can get from your teacher. Next. You need to create your account in Gizmos. Suppose your school does not use Gizmos, don't worry, you can still access many free Gizmos without logging in. But the only problem is you cannot access other Gizmos for more than 5 minutes. Since I already have my Gizmos account, let me log in using my username and password. Now, I'm in the home page. As you can see, my teacher has assigned two simulations, but you can search for more Gizmos by clicking search. You can see three search options, Gizmos by academic standard. This search option is for those who live in the United States, Australia, Canada or the United Kingdom. Here, the list of recommended Gizmos is linked to the curriculum standard. Since I am in the United Arab Emirates, this is not relevant for me. Gizmos by grade and topics help you find Gizmos organized by grade, level and topic. Gizmos by textbooks help you find Gizmos correlated to the textbooks of popular publishers. Now, I'm going to take you through a very interesting simulation of the digestive system. Let me launch the digestive system just more. In this Gizmo, we are going to build a working digestive, digestive system using available organs. As you can see, there are four tabs, large organs, small organs, food and analysis. Let me begin by placing the large organs. So first is the mouth, then the esophagus, then the stomach. Then the small intestine, again the small intestine, now a large intestine, and finally the rectum. Next, I'm going to place the small organs. So the chief cells goes in the back of the large intestine, the parenteal cells goes in the front of the large intestine, the glab bladder goes in the last on the rectum, the pancreas, everyone knows it goes on the stomach, the salivary glands goes in the mouth side, the capillaries are three so I need to keep it in three different places, and lymphatic vessels are here and here. Two. There are six food items that we can feed the digestive system. The interesting thing is by placing each of the food items on the mouth. The system will display the nutritious fact of each food item. For instance, if I keep 223 gram apple, then it will produce 118 calories. The apple gives us carbohydrate, sugar and proteins, but it does not uh, contain fat. If I feed 298 gram 
pounds of cheeseburger, then I will produce 726 calories. The nutrition flag shows, uh, shows that burger is rich in carbohydrates, fat, a protein, and water. Regular intake of burger is not good for health as it contains high fat content which will lead to obesity. No wonder burgers catch white as a junk food. Anyways, let's see how the digestive uh, system digests the burger. So saliva is released. Producing saliva that can drink the pancreas produces digestive enzymes. The stomach wants to break it down. Genjunum and Inumia make up the most of the small intestine. Bile present in the walls of genjunum and Inumia absorb the nutrients in water. Parenchyma cells produce hydraulic acid when increased the efficiency of pepsin produced by T cells. Bile stored in the gallbladder help to break up large fat gobbles into small particles. Finally, the rectum excretes the waste. Ew, gross! But now my, my, my digestive system is working fine. Before using Gizmos, I never knew a new, I never knew learning such a complex digestive system process can be so much fun and entertaining. Thanks for listening. Have fun learning with Gizmos. This explainer video is created for Gems Out Rule Engine School. If you like my videos, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel, Smart Tech Kids. Goodbye for now. See you later.